name's Trapo from Madison, Wisconsin. Just graduated. I'm 18 years old. Um, yeah, I rap, sing a little bit. Mostly just make music, you know, in general. Good music. You better breathe, nigga. No time to panic, just open the safe. I got the cannon and blowing away. It's been a real long time since I got these figures. I treat you like you said, put one to the face. Cause some of the poppers won't get me. I always was rapping, like writing raps, like third grade, elementary school type shit. I was writing raps in my books, in my notebook. I will name them like track one and write the rap. Never had like no beats, but like track one, track two. I was writing mixtapes, but like in my notebook though. You know, it was, it was mixtape stuff. I was raised like anybody else was raised. I mean, we went to, ch I was in church a lot, you know, growing up. Um, you know, a lot of singing, a lot of stuff like that. I was in the choir a little bit. You know, I sung in the choir when I was in church. Well, growing up in Wisconsin, and, and anyway, it's kind of weird because, I mean, especially for black people, because it's like, it's a lot of like stuff you won't notice. Like that's shaky about Wisconsin, or the people in Wisconsin in general, and it's kind of shaped my music in that way. I talk about it more, like not really like in person. Like we don't have conversations about this, like with my friends. Like you know, what I'm saying like racism and all that. Like, but it comes out in the music. Early on, it really came out in the music. Like when I dropped Black Beverly Hills, so I was talking about all that. Slaves, nigga. Island Kingdom had a show, and this was when I dropped Cards and Conversations. This was like back then, during them times. And um, I was just in that room, I was in the green, that was like the first time I really been like in a real green room, like with other rappers, like I think Island Kingdom was in there, Webster X was in there. Yeah, I saw Vince, they was in the green room one time too. But like just seeing like, just being in that space and seeing other rappers, like how they carry themselves and how people show them like that attention and like really like hold them in like some like, higher like regard like I don't know it's weird like how people act towards like artists but when I saw that I'm like I'm like if I'm not getting that like if I'm not if people don't see me in that way like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing like musically like people should hear my music and just want to meet me like so bad like I feel like I've always had the drive it's just it was about meeting the right people and making the right connections and putting myself in a position where I could actually do it I met the people that can, you know, push me to do it and, and put me in the rooms with the right people, it was gonna happen. That's how it's been happening, you know, and that's how we wanted to continue to happen, just meeting the right people, because once they meet me, it's over with, like, you know, I got, I got it from there. So I'm like, three whatever. steps, four steps, both steps ahead of these niggas, I tiptoe less with no stretches, both flex, don't care about these niggas, like, I'm a rapper, right, so these ends kick in in the afterlife, all my plans work out if the math is right, and the math is right, right, look. So who let them fuck niggas in, right, trap with the best in the city, the best in the city. Uh, dead eyes, I'm, I'm gonna keep it uh, 100%. You know, honest, uh, I made that song. And when I say stuff on songs, like, you know, Trouble the Best in the City, the Best in the State, like, I'm not just rapping. Like, I'm not, I, I genuinely mean I am the best in Madison, Wisconsin. And I genuinely mean I am the best in Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> or Wisconsin in general, you know what I'm saying? The whole entire state, I don't believe there's nobody. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that, you know, there's people that don't make good music. That's false. There's like a lot of good musicians, but I feel like when it comes to the drive and the like uh, the actual attachment to the music, you know, and, and the thought process and you know everything that goes into making a good song, I feel like I do it the best. I care about it the most. I want people to hear those songs. I want rappers to hear those songs and you know, disagree if they disagree. But until then, I, it seems like nobody disagrees with me. People hear those songs. Rappers play that song like. And don't reach out to me and say like, oh, why are you, why are you saying that? So in my eyes, they agree. Shade trees is like a metaphor, I guess, for like just being at peace and being where I like, like the all, like the all, like the where I want to be, like the final, the final stage of you know this music or whatever. The shade trees, you know, a peaceful place, a calm place, in the shade. You know what I'm saying? And with the subtext is meeting Mariah, right? That's like my 
that's like the story within the album. I like, used to make the album interesting. It's about me, you know, meeting a girl that I've been trying to meet my whole life, or pretty much like that. But it's, it's dope in the music, like how it, how it plays out in the music and how it follows a storyline. But um, yeah, shade trees. That's what that means. Just being at peace. What's air? If we cannot breathe, shorty, what do you need? I meet you on my way there. What's air? If we cannot breathe, shorty, what do you need? I meet you on my way there. What's air? If we cannot breathe, shorty, what do you need? I meet you on my way there. I want to be known as an artist that, you know, every time I dropped the tape, it was like worth listening to, you know, start to finish. I want to be known as an artist who help other artists succeed, you know, in the long run. I want to be, I want to, be, I, want, I want to do a lot of stuff. Like, I want to act one day. I want to be in movies and, and I want to write books and all that type of shit. Like, I want to do a lot. I want to be more than a rapper. I want to be more than an artist. You know, when it's all said and done, my entire legacy. I mean, if I was just an artist, like, if I didn't put my hand in nothing else, but it was like fashion or anything, I feel like I, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Like, because uh, I know, like, you know, me thinking, like, me having the brain I have and the mindset I have, me thinking the thoughts I think, I can help out in a lot of stuff, whether it's scripts, anything, music, anything. I just want to be, when it's all said and done, I just want to be a respected artist. You know what I'm saying? Not somebody that got on and, like, people forget about. You know what I mean? I want to be like, Remembered, you know, like I want, I want that respect. Cuddy got, you know, I want the respect. You know, Kanye got, I want the respect. You know, a lot of these dudes, like these up there dudes, like you know what I mean. Like especially Cuddy, like yes, the Cud kid Cuddy is an artist. Like people like have some type of like emotional attachment to, like, and it's weird. People like who don't know this man at all. I don't know this man at all. And I feel like I got some type of emotional attachment to him. I won't. I want that. I want people to look at me like that. Like, I want people to, you know, write me letters and essays and shit, you know, about their life, you know, because they think I can help them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want that. I want that. I want to be. I want. I just want to be something big. Like, Alright, y'all ready for Jack for real now? I'm just. I'm just go crazy for a minute. Let me talk for a second.